So is that clear for everyone? So we're just going to do the meditation and have half an hour break and then there's going to be a public talk afterwards. So that's kind of the idea, the plan. Huh? So um, uh, just I'm just going to talk just a tiny little bit about meditation practice before we kind of get into the uh, actual meditation again. Huh? And um, it's interesting, as a Buddhist monk, you get lots of uh, messages from people around the world, from everywhere around the world, huh? because when you are on YouTube, you get very, everyone knows about you. Everywhere you go in the world, they say, oh, you must be Ajahn Brahmali. That's right. I'm Ajahn Brahmali. Which is kind of nice in a way. It means you have a lot of reach in the world. Uh, but one of, very often what you get, you get people who talk about meditation practice, uh, and you hear about the meditation experiences of so many people, yeah, across the world. And they are basically the same. Everyone is the same in the world, uh, which is kind of boring, but that's the reality of it. Uh. <laughs> And uh, one of the things that I always find is that when people have some kind of profound experience, uh, and this happens all the time, yeah, people have, they uh, suddenly they get it right for whatever reason, and suddenly they have a very profound experience. They see a light in the meditation, they get lots of bliss and happiness, they have a profound state of peace. Uh, and every time, almost, uh, it is for exactly the same reason. Uh, and the reason is that they are able to really relax for the first time, really able to let go. And suddenly, one day, they really relax, they really don't do anything at all. And this is kind of the point, yeah? This is what I was trying to say yesterday about this idea that we try to, we have this idea what meditation means, and then we do our meditation because we have an idea what it is all about. So I was saying, forget about meditation, don't do meditation. Instead, just learn to relax and to be at ease. And um, this is why I was uh, using the simile yesterday about just learning to sit back like in an armchair or whatever. And when you sit back in an armchair and you just enjoy the sunset or whatever it might be, what you're learning is you're learning to relax. You're learning to let go. And uh, as you are learning to let go and relax in that way, actually what you're doing is creating the foundation for meditation to happen. And I thought I would just give you one more idea of how to make this work. One more trick, so to speak. Uh, yesterday we were talking about the idea of contemplating death. Death was one of the main contemplations that the Buddha, to be, we saw that yesterday, used to motivate him to become the Buddha, to go forth and become an ascetic. Yeah. But uh, one of the interesting things about dying and death uh, is that it is very similar to meditation practice. So. Yeah, okay. so death, dying and meditation are very similar to each other. Yeah. So are you still happy to do meditation practice? Yeah. <laughs> you might die, right? This is kind of the point. Uh, and one of the... Uh, is it the problem here, or is it the... No, the problem is over there somewhere, okay. Yeah. So, uh, all right. So, so the, uh, you know, one of the famous sayings of uh, Ajahn Shah, you remember Ajahn Shah, Ajahn Ram's teachers, uh, and he would say to Ajahn, to all the monks who came to the monastery, he would say to them, have you come here to die here? You know that saying here? Yeah. And it's kind of a nice saying, because the idea is, of course, not that you have come to the monastery necessarily to die in the monastery. Maybe you will, maybe you won't, but that's not really the point. The point is that the path of meditation is such that as you go deeper in the meditation, you let go. And letting go is a kind of a kind of dying, if you wish. Yeah, It's like the ego starts to fade away. And if you are okay with the ego fading away, then you are okay with meditation practice. And one of the amazing things that you find is that the ego fading away is actually a very beautiful process. Yeah, you start to look at the meditation, you start to notice that when you have less thinking going on in the mind, uh, when there's less things happening inside, uh, actually when you start to feel peaceful, uh, yeah, that is when the ego is less, because less thinking... is equivalent to peace in the meditation practice. So, 
And if you notice that, if you start to notice how the fading away of the ego, the fading away of the sense of self, leads to peace, then you start to understand why the ego is such a big problem, huh? and why it's fading away is a very positive and very happy experience. Huh? And death is very similar to that. Huh? The idea of dying when you are on your deathbed, uh, two things uh, start to happen. Uh, yeah? One of the things is that if you are ready for the idea of dying, uh, you will feel very peaceful on your deathbed. Uh, yeah, You start to just relax, you are very aware, the mindfulness is strong, you are just lying there, there is nothing to be done in the whole world, uh, you are just enjoying yourself lying back and relaxing, uh, so you are able to really relax when you are dying, uh, but you also have the ability to let go uh, at the same time. Uh, and the reason you have the ability to let go when you're dying is because there's nothing to hold on to anymore. Uh, you're leaving this world behind. Uh, there's nothing to grasp onto. Uh, and this combination of being mindful on the one hand uh, and letting go on the other, this is a very, very powerful combination. Uh, and this is exactly what we're trying to do in meditation practice. Uh. So what that means is that we can use the idea of dying uh, yeah, as an entryway into meditation. Uh. This is kind of the point here. Uh. So by reflecting on death, maybe by doing a brief death contemplation or whatever, you can let go a little bit and you can allow yourself to go deeper as a consequence. Usually when we do meditation, either we force ourselves to be mindful, we try really hard to be mindful, watch the breath, watch the breath, and then you can't relax. Or you really relax, but then you fall asleep, so you can't really, yeah? So it's one of the other, but actually we want to combine the clarity, the relaxation, and the letting go together. And when these things go together, that is when it becomes very interesting and very powerful. So sometimes, imagine yourself, yeah, use the idea of dying. Okay, you're going to die here. You don't know when you're going to die, and the only time you can be ready to die is now. If you're not ready to die now, you may never be ready to die. It may never actually be ready when the day happens. Now is the time to be ready. And if you can be ready now, it will have an effect on your mind. The mindfulness will be there, the letting go will be there, and you have an entryway into meditation practice as a consequence. These are some of the uh, ways yeah, of kind of using the idea, using kind of perceptions, uh, using attitudes in the mind uh, to help the mind to move towards uh, calm, letting go, peace, mindfulness, and all of these kind of things. Uh, so see if it works, and if we uh, want to talk more detail about the idea of death contemplation or whatever, we can do so later on. Uh, but now let's do some meditation together. We'll do about maybe 45 minutes, uh, and then we'll have half an hour break after that. Uh. Okay, so uh, sit nice and comfortably. Uh. <sighs> And uh, as always, when you start out your meditation, just uh, start out by feeling the body. Uh, and first of all, to make sure that you have no pains and aches in the body, uh, but also to ensure that you are really, really relaxed. Uh, um, it's good to have a kind of routine that you go through every time you meditate, uh, so you have like a kind of a process that you follow. Sometimes you go through the process fast, sometimes slowly, but you always start out by making sure that you are at ease, that you are comfortable. Meditation is about letting go of the body, and you can only let go of the body if the body is at ease.
And uh, please keep in mind the idea of not going to the meditation subject too quickly. Uh, Learn to relax properly, first of all. Uh, Learn to allow the mindfulness to arise uh, and wait for the meditation object to come to you. Uh, Never look for the meditation object. Uh, Never hold on to it. Uh, Never do anything with it. Uh, Wait for it to arise by itself. Uh, And then you automatically will be doing the meditation practice. Uh, First of all, relax. Uh, Sit back. uh, Allow the world to fade away. Uh,
And uh, as you start to calm down and allow the world to fade away, uh, you have to know your mind, to know what is required in the meditation. Uh, and if you find that you are getting tired or sleepy, uh, then what you need to do is to inspire the mind, uh, some positive object to the mind. Uh, and that can be rejoicing in all the good spiritual friendship you have, uh, all the Kalyanamitas, uh, being in the presence of the Buddha, the Dhamma, uh, and all these wonderful teachings that you have. Uh, it can be a sense of gratitude uh, that you are here, uh, that you have you're able to take part in something beautiful and powerful, uh, anything positive that gives rise to a sense of gladness in the mind, uh, rejoicing in your uh, life well lived, uh, rejoicing in an act of generosity. Uh. If, on the other hand, you find yourself thinking too much, uh, then use a different kind of contemplation. Uh. Sometimes using the death contemplation that I mentioned before, uh, because if you're going to die, uh, and all the things that you want to think about uh, don't really make so much sense anymore. Uh, it all goes out of the window. Uh, if you're going to die, you're going to be peaceful. Uh, so use that contemplation as well. Uh.
Okay, everyone, so uh, once again coming close to the end, uh, not quite there yet, just wait a little bit uh, and uh, spend just a few moments just to review your meditation. Uh, again, the idea with this is to understand the process of meditation, uh, so just uh, sit back and just review for a minute or two. Uh, Okay, so that is the end of the meditation for now. So please, um, ready. Okay, everyone, so let's have a break, and we'll see you again later on. Have.